Hello, this is a word and image video demos, demonstration. We are going to be doing a few videos about fine tuning text, columns of text. And the first one is going to be to identify and fix bad rags in columns of text. So let's take a quick look at that. All right. So the uneven sides of a column of text created by uh, when you left justify like we've done here, or when you center it, or when you right justify it, the rough edges are considered a rag. And I'm going to back to left center, left justify there with a right rag. Um, good rags <clears throat> have a even flow. They go in and out in small increments back and forth and create a more or less even uh, rag as it flows in and out. A bad rag will go in and out in um, more chaotic fashion, um, unevenly create sharp, long elements um, or lines that just jut out like so. And that's something as a, uh, a fine tuning element you want to avoid with your columns of text. So um, narrow, narrow columns tend to create um, bad rags um, more so than um, uh, evenly or well-proportioned or well-measured well columns of text. Um, so uh, first step is to, um, to try and fix something like this is to, to, to ask yourself if you've given your, your column of text enough character, um, number of characters that can fit in, a, in the longest line. So let's take a look at that. Um, if um, you highlight one of your longest lines and you go up into the window and you find the info panel, you will find that the info panel, when you are selecting text, gives you information about your text. It will tell you how many paragraphs, how many lines you've selected, how many words. In our case, we wanna see how many characters are selected in our longest line, our longest measure here. And it is 56, which is a reasonable measure. You're shooting for something between 45 characters and 75 or 80 characters. That is the target. Anything too long, anything too short, we get into that area of um, it being more of an annoyance and a, and a distraction for your reader. But it also, in the case of uh, fixing rags, if it's too short, it tends to lead to um, more likely bad rags. So if you had the luxury of making this wider, which uh, in most cases you won't, you might find that your rag evens out. But we can't do that typically unless you wanna change your whole grid. You won't have that option. So you might wanna try some other elements. So now that we know that we have a good character measure, 56 characters are great, uh, maybe 65 is the best, but let's say we've got this. Um, we want to select all the type. And uh, first step is to make sure that you're using um, hyphenation, auto hyphenation. So let's go to type and tables. Let's go to paragraph panel. And the paragraph panel here says uh, we are not using auto hyphenation. So first step to uh, fix a lot of this might just be to click on hyphenate. And it does fix a good deal of that. In fact, I would say this is pretty much there. If you are feeling um, that there's one line that's poking out too much um, or giving you some trouble, then you might need to investigate um, something a little more drastic, possibly putting in a, um, a soft return uh, to kick a uh, one word down a line, a soft return being holding down the shift key while hitting the return key. And that makes a soft return. That actually doesn't help the rag at all. 
but I just wanted to show you that there is a way for you to hit return without starting a brand new paragraph with an indentation. If you do it with a shift and the return, you can actually just go down one line, break a line, and then go to the next line. And that may be the way for you to touch things up. Uh, if you get really desperate, um, you might need to resort to some squeezing and maybe some very, very subtle um, manipulation of the tracking. Um, again, that's under the character panel or you hold down the option and the left and the right um, arrow keys might get you somewhere. Uh, but again, you don't want to do too much. You don't want it to be noticeable um, that it's different than the, all the other um, paragraphs in your design. So be careful. But I think this is pretty close to what we what would what will work. All right, and that is what we wanted to see uh, for fixing a rag. Thank you, and be on the lookout for um, our next video, which will be on fixing justified columns of text.